John with Chest Freezer Cold Plunge. And in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Plunge XL model. I'm gonna start out with a little bit about my background so you'll understand what my perspective is and where I'm coming from and how that actually informs my review. And we're gonna talk a little bit about what's changed between the original Plunge models that came out, uh, the one that I reviewed back in May of 2021. To start with, my background is in the DIY space for cold plunges. I originally took a workshop with Wim Hof back in 2014 and built a, or converted a chest freezer into a cold plunge. And since that time, I've been supporting people in the DIY space to uh, make or build cold plunges. What happened after a few years of supporting people in that space, someone in my community started posting about these commercially available products which at the time when I got started, the cheapest one around was like $9,000 and it was just really out of reach for me. I didn't feel comfortable recommending a product that I didn't know anything about and that I hadn't used. So when I called the owner of the company or one of the designers for this uh, the plunge, for the plunge originally, uh, Michael Garrett, I spoke with him, he answered all of my questions and uh, he really did that in a way that uh, satisfied my curiosity about all the potential things that could have gone wrong. So it told me that Michael was not only in this for uh, just, just to start a company and sell a product, but because he really did care and he really was paying attention to a lot of the details that have gone wrong and can go wrong, especially in the DIY space, but also with commercial cold plunges. So all of that perspective informs my review. I am an advocate of cold water immersion. My mission is to make cold water accessible for everyone. And we all have different budgets, different values, different preferences, different space. There's all kinds of different variables that go into this to find out which one is best for you. And just to let you know, Michael and Ryan sent the Plunge XL to me free of charge. So all they asked in return is that I write an honest review or do a video about an honest review of my opinion of the product. And I don't like to just post a review just to have a review, just to check off a box on my YouTube channel. But I really did want to get a chance to use it and share it with friends. So that's how I want to give back to the community. If you are in Central Texas in the Austin area and you want to come and try out one of these plunges, by all means, find me on Facebook, or you can find my website, which is chestfreezercoldplunge.com, and you can reach out to me from there. There's a lot of things that can be said about the Plunge XL in comparison to the standard model that I received back in May of 2021. They've improved at least 10 things that I can think of right off the top of my head. And this video is not so much about comparing those different things, uh, and I'll do another video on that because there's some really awesome things that they have improved, but I do wanna talk about specifically the things that um, just make this a great cold plunge for someone who wants to have a commercially done cold plunge that's plug and play, ready to go. So the first thing we wanna say about the Plunge XL is that it is a larger model. So if you are much larger than six feet tall, now I've had plenty of six foot three, six foot four, six foot five people get into the standard plunge and they do fit, but their knees tend to poke out a little bit or maybe they don't get their shoulders all the way under the water. So this is the cold plunge that Michael Garrett designed really for himself. He's six feet five, he's a tall guy. And so he can get into this thing and get his shoulders underwater and get his knees underwater and really have that full immersion experience in a cold plunge. So if you're someone who's taller or if you're an athlete with broader shoulders, this is definitely the plunge to get. Now, how much bigger is it than the standard plunge or the plunge pro? Well, the XL model is six inches longer. It's one inch wider front to back and it's also three inches taller. So uh, compare those two models. If you are an athlete or somebody who's a larger size person, this is a great model to consider. Now, what I can also tell you from my perspective, I'm only five foot 10 and I love being in this tub. There is something amazing about having that additional space that uh, just gave me a very different experience than being in the standard size plunge, whether that's the standard model or the pro model. Those two work just fine, again, in the smaller size for me, but um, I did really enjoy getting into the water on this model. Also wanted to say that I do have a discount code for you. Uh, that code is in the comment section. So if you do decide that this is a good fit for you or if one of the other plunge models is a good fit for you, you can use that code to receive a discount and that's how I get credit as an affiliate and I do earn a small commission. So let's jump into the delivery. The guys will take it off the truck, bring it to your, your location, wherever you want to set it up. Uh, that's the delivery for the lower 48 in the US. The only thing that I would have to say um, about the delivery that they can improve, and we've already had this conversation with Michael and they've already implemented these changes, is that um, 
And you might want to just keep an eye, right? Because the we do the best we can to communicate with the delivery service, but uh, those the word doesn't always get out, or there might be somebody who's new that day, or somebody who calls out sick, and uh, or calls in sick, and they've got another person taking care of the delivery. So um, the guys that were pulling it off the truck put it on a regular dolly instead of on like a forklift or pallet dolly. And the problem with that is that they had that dolly on the back where all of the equipment goes, um, and they couldn't really see it because it's in a box, but that caused one of the uh, magnets to, to break off of the, uh, the cover that goes on the equipment area. It still functions, it works, but it was a little disappointing that those guys weren't being mindful or paying attention about that. So if you see them trying to put it on a regular dolly, don't let them do that. Uh, two guys can carry this thing with no problem. It should be removed from the box and carried to your location rather than trying to use a dolly. So uh, that's the only little point to make sure about on the delivery. Now also about uh, the setup, uh, these things can go outdoors. I find in Texas it's really best to have it covered. The more you can do to um, prevent these models from being any kind of cold plane, from being exposed to the elements, the more effectively it's going to work. So we've got a canopy installed here. You can put it in a garage or in a patio. You wanna make sure that you have an outlet that's dedicated and it will do at least 15 or 20 amps. So uh, we did have a couple of issues with this uh, popping the breaker uh, where we have it right here on the house. It's an older house, it's got an outdoor plug. It's connected to a pond that's out here. It's a really beautiful setup in the backyard. Uh, but that outlet is on the same breaker as the heater in the bathroom. So whenever the owner would turn on that fan in the bathroom, it would pop the whole breaker because it was just too much juice to power the plunge, the pond, and that heater in the bathroom. So you do wanna make sure that you've got a dedicated outlet that is going to handle the electrical requirements. And this thing pulls about 10 amps. So having a 15 amp dedicated outlet would be a good idea. So let's talk about everything that the plunge comes with. Uh, you get the tub, it comes with the lid, it comes with a chiller, it comes with all the equipment on the back, which is basically a pump, a filter, an ozone generator. And uh, it comes with a holder for your phone. It comes with a small net to scoop out debris. And it comes with a pre-filter to remove any sediment that could be coming through the garden hose. Setting up your plunge is very simple and easy. It has six feet on the bottom that are adjustable. You don't even need a special tool to do this. You can raise them up or down with your fingers. So if you have an unlevel surface, it makes it very easy to get your plunge level. The only other thing you need to do is to connect your chiller. There's a little sticker on the side of the tub as well as on the chiller. You line up those stickers and you know that the chiller is in the exact right place. Then you connect the intake, fill it with water, and then you connect the return line. There's instructions written on the chiller that tell you what order you need to do everything. Video instructions are also included. All you have to do is scan the QR code and it will take you to their website. It'll walk you through everything step by step. After the tub has been filled with water and you've connected the return, it's time to program the chiller. This model is just the cold plunge. It is not the hot and cold model. So all you need to do is press and hold the set button and as soon as this starts flashing, you can then set your temperature by pressing the down button. And the chiller on this model will chill about five to eight degrees per hour, somewhere in there. It does depend upon the ambient temperature, the humidity. Then as soon as you have your water chilled down to your desired temperature, it's time to take your first plunge. And our current water temperature is 43 degrees. So the Plunge XL does come with the cover, much like all of the other models. So that has remained the same. It's very easy to remove just with uh, four clips. They go on here. First off, I found it very easy to climb into the tub, even with the larger size. So, woo, the first thing I can tell you just immediately that I love about this is that I can stretch my legs out completely straight and get them from the, uh, you know, my head is up against the back. I can get the back of my head in and uh, I could probably still put a couple more inches of water in this and my water is probably a little lower than what it could be, but um, I've got my feet completely stretched out. Now, even if I bend my knees, I've still got a lot of room in here to keep my knees underwater. Now I'm 5'10 and I weigh 180, well, 185. And uh, this thing, I can fit very well and easily in the basic model, but what feels great about this is again, the ability to just put my feet on the opposite end of the tub 
and uh, I've still got the circulation. I can feel that jet on my back and on my feet. I'm really loving that I can get the water really easily up to the back of my head. You know, when you get the back of your head in, there's uh, vagus nerve stimulation that happens. Uh, and again, you can do all of this in the basic plunge. I'm really enjoying the extra space in here. Yeah, this is, this is pretty awesome. So, and definitely for the people that are taller than uh, like six foot three and bigger, um, and for people who have, uh, you know, just a wider body than, uh, you know, I guess what is considered to be average, um, I think this would really be a great model to consider. Personally, I like head dunking face first rather than sliding down. So uh, we're gonna do a quick head dunk and uh, see what's different here. If you're interested in the head dunking, uh, you know, this is an easy tub to do it in. You've got a lot of room, uh, regardless of whether you want to go face first or if you just want to slide down, you know, backwards. I could probably do that too. Just not my, the way that I'm accustomed to doing that. In the chest freezer, there's not enough room to really go in backwards. But yeah, that feels uh, comfortable. There's plenty of space in there, plenty of room in this tub uh, to do pretty much whatever you want to do with regards to cold plunging. So uh, I'm, I'm very excited about this model and I know the taller and larger people are going to be excited too uh, because they're going to have a plunge uh, that's really comfortable and easy to fit in. So overall first impressions about this thing are pretty awesome. I'm delighted. I'm very excited to be able to uh, have access to review this for you guys. Getting out of the tub is also really easy. One of the common questions I get about using the plunge is how do you keep this thing clean? How do you keep the water clean? And you're going to have to do maintenance on any cold plunge, but with the plunge, it's really super awesome because it has an ozone generator built in and it runs automatically. There's nothing you need to do. It does its work and that keeps your water crystal clear. If you want to have a secondary form of sanitation, you're totally welcome to do that. They have spa products that you can add and uh, that's really just up to your discretion. I can say that after using both the Plunge XL and the standard size tub with community cold plunging, we have found the ozone generator keeps the water clean. Now, you do have to keep the filter changed as needed and it has a clear sump on the back so you can at a glance tell when it's dirty and when it needs to be changed. Typically that will be somewhere between once every one to four weeks. The filters are standard two and a half by 10 inch size filters. You can buy the filters from the Plunge website or you can also get these from local hardware stores, plumbing supply houses and online. As far as changing the filter goes, uh, really all you have to do is close the valve that's on there and unscrew the sump and pull out the filter, pour out the dirty water that's in there. Make sure that you've got the gasket around the top and then put the new filter in and they just screw it back in. And when you're done, remember to turn the valve downward to open up the water flow again. Maintenance is really easy. I do recommend wiping down the plunge. Any water that splashes on it, wipe that down after each use. One great thing about the tub is that the material is made of acrylic, so it's very easy to clean. That is a non-porous material, so that's important and it also helps you to keep the tub really nice and clean. Plunge has a bunch of videos on how to do regular and periodic maintenance, and I encourage you to visit their website to check out those videos. Another question that people have is, how do I drain the tub? When it comes time to drain the tub for a more thorough cleaning, that's actually very easy with the plunge. It has a built-in drain on the back, and you can either open the valve and drain the water right there, or it has a built-in thread that fits a standard garden hose. So if you want to get the water away from where the tub is sitting, you can easily do that by attaching a garden hose. The only other thing that I would add to the, the maintenance, just because we have people out here, it's a very muddy, dirty area here in the backyard, and we do get a lot of dirt in here, just people tracking mud or dirt into the plunge. I do use a spa vacuum that I bought. Uh, this one does not use uh, batteries or a motor or anything. It just works like a, a drinking straw. You put your finger on top and it just sucks up the little debris and then the water goes back into the tub. I found that to be super helpful. 
One of the most common questions that I get about the plunge is how loud is the chiller? So uh, the chiller, when it's running, uh, it depends on how close you are to it. Uh, the, the sound drops the further, you know, goes down in volume, the further away you get from it. And everybody's got a little bit different opinion about what kind of sound and how loud of a sound they find to be bothersome or totally fine. Uh, I do have a decibel meter, an actual meter. It's not just an app on my phone. The ambient noise in the backyard seems to be between 58 to 61. Let's see on the front of the chiller, right at it, it's 90 decibels. So on the back side with the equipment, somewhere between 78 to 79. So we're just about five feet away from the plunge on the front side, right about 66, 67 decibels. One other thing that's really important in terms of choosing a professional cold plunge model, if you're going to go that route, if it's in your budget, is the company that you're working with. Yes, the equipment is important, the design, it's important to find something that you love, uh, but I want to say a few things about the, about the company. Since 2000, you know, when the V plunge originally started in Michael's garage, when they built that first plunge, uh, they've gone through quite a, a bit of growth since then. I recently got the opportunity to visit their headquarters and their facilities uh, near Sacramento, California, and one of the things that really stood out for me is that um, everything that they're doing in terms of the process, the equipment that they're using, putting it all together, the customer service team, the production team, uh, they have really up-leveled what they're doing in a lot of incredible ways, and a company is only going to be as good as the people who stand behind it and who work for it. It's always been great to talk to Michael on the phone, but uh, meeting Michael and Ryan in person was uh, just another uh, a level of experience to just to boost my confidence in knowing that these guys have an awesome company. The DIY process it can be fraught with all kinds of ups and downs, and uh, you know I, those are the things I help troubleshoot and try to preempt every single day with what I do. And when you have a team behind you with customer service and everything else, uh, I've seen Michael go above and beyond the call, just what would be considered to be standard customer service, uh, to help people make sure that they just have an awesome experience with the plunge. We did have an issue with the pump that Plunge took care of. They sent out a service technician to do that repair, and it was great to have him come out and do everything that needed to be done. They actually upgraded the pump at, when this happened, which was awesome. Again, that's one of the things that I love about Plunge. They are constantly innovating uh, their products and how they go about doing things. So it was really super easy to schedule with him and have him come out. I did not have to be there, but I just wanted to be there to talk with him and chat with him. And once it was done, everything was good to go. All of the Plunge models come with a built-in one-year warranty. Plunge also offers two additional warranties, one for three and one for five years, on their website with all of the Plunge models. I'm happy to let anyone come by and do a test drive for this unit. So check out my website, check out my Facebook group, and let us know how we can support you in making cold water accessible. Because it's not really just about the, uh, the equipment, right? The equipment is the means to the end. This is just the tech support. Like, what, what do I do? Do I swim in cold water out in nature? Do I fill a barrel with ice or a bathtub with ice? Do I do a DIY chest freezer? Do I buy a professional cold plunge? All of these things are valid ways to have a cold water immersion practice. But you know what? That's just the airplane to your destination. The destination is the amazing benefits that you're going to get from having a regular cold water immersion practice at your home that you can use, that you love to use, and that will make a big difference in your life. If you have any questions or comments, please post those below. And let me know what I can do to support you in your cold water immersion practice. So uh, thank you for watching the video, and happy cold plunging.